Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dave from SignalMark.com. I appreciate you stopping by the channel. This is my maiden voyage on YouTube, so if it's horrible, we can only hope I get better at this as time goes by. So today I'm going to talk about the Git Command Commandlet in PowerShell. This is used to uh, discover commandlets or functions or aliases to uh, basically make it a little more efficient for you to search through what is available in your particular box to solve whatever problem you have. So I'll kind of walk you through this step by step. So the git dash command dash all is going to give you, as you can see, literally everything that is installed on this particular machine. It's all good information, but not particularly useful unless you want to scroll up, scroll down, and try to find exactly what you're looking for. So as you can see, these commandlets are in a verb-noun format. So I can search that noun for anything to do with services. So I need to stop or start a service. So that's one way to narrow, narrow your search. So you can do the same thing with the verb. And I just got everything with stop in the verb. So you can also use wildcard characters just like you can, you know, searching on Windows. So I want to search the noun portion of the commandlet for anything with Azure in that uh, commandlet name. And there we go. So you can also look in the modules. So maybe I want to look in, I have something to do in Active Directory. I'll just look in the module Active Directory to see what's available to me. So let's look in the Azure module. So as you can see, there's a whole lot going on there in the Azure module. So we can kind of narrow that down a little bit. So I want to look in the Azure module and I want to look at only commandlets not functions or aliases or anything else. Now in the Azure module there's a lot of commandlets so that's... So you can also do aliases and this particular module has quite a few aliases and you can also use functions. So you'll notice here I don't get anything back from our from the functions. So command type function, this command either, command either didn't work or there's nothing there. So I can verify that there's no functions in this module by taking that off. And this gives me everything in the module. So commandlet. There's a lot of commandlets in Azure. And aliases. And nothing else. So the function command we ran ran, it just didn't return anything. So that's the git command commandlet. Uh, very useful if you're new to PowerShell or even if you're not new to PowerShell. Uh, there are updates that happen to this thing. You know, version 5 has commandlets that version 4 didn't. So the only way you know that is using the git command commandlet to find those. So I hope this uh, helps you out in some form or fashion. I appreciate you stopping by the channel. Here are all the ways you can contact me up here. Uh, if you want to request a topic, send it in one of those manners uh, and I'll try to see if I can work it in. So again, thank you uh, for watching the video. Hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, or leave me a comment, or all three. I appreciate it.